Paragon version 40 update. What an amazing update. But in that update, since it was so massive, there was a lot of new content that hasn't been released yet. And there were some data miners that went through all that and they found some leaked information about new content that will be coming to us in the future in version 40 and in version 41. So a lot of hype mates. We're going to break it down as much as possible within this video. Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord by You Can Call Me Lordy and today we're back on Paragon once again. There should be some phase gameplay in the background of me playing phase as a support role. Pretty interesting gameplay, had a fun time, and also you can watch the phase gameplay video we've done not long ago on our channel. The link to that will be in the description below. Go watch that so you get some intel, some new tips and tricks on phase, and understand a new build, the healing build that I made for that character as well. Really good build on the character. But within this video, the topics are the ones that we discussed at the very start of this video. So there's gonna be a lot of action packed news and new intel that we don't know about yet that we're gonna discover within this video because of this leaked information that came from one of the data miners. But makes before we get into this, make sure you smash that boy like button. And let's try to get 200 likes on this video. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Some of the big changes of this update are internal testing for skin variants, T1 to T3s, emotes, T1s to T5. If that's a possibility, I don't know. Skin chest T1 to T3 and a skin variation combo chest T1 to T3. Skin variation token and moat token. So there's some things they're working on as well, followed by hella skins and variations. <laughs> this guy, because there's so many skins in this actual update, when I was reading it before, in the actual data mine information, it's actually insane, especially with the variants. Crazy amount. Uh, new game modes coming along with attached images of new game elements and centuries or turrets. So something that we're going to talk about in this video as well. Uh, Iggy rework and new ability flame heal events for the Halloween and winter already in the works So those are pretty much like the major factors. So let's jump into it as quick as possible new game modes Origin map is probably where the new game modes will take place It is the tutorial map, but it's meshed out and looks incredible meaning it's a total waste if they just keep it for semantics and tutorials Plus they keep editing it and also some of the game types that I've mentioned are the tutorial the 1v1 2v2 3v3 and obviously the name of that map seems to be sovereign and monolith as 5v5 so that's really interesting how the map is Sovereign, Origin, and also called as the tutorial map. So that's what we're going to expect the gamers to be on. The 1v1s, 2 3 3s those type of gamers will be in that map. So the 1v1s, 2 3 3s those gamers will be attached to that map. We've been talking about that for ages. Oh my god, it's been intense. And hopefully this does start happening very soon because we're bringing a new look to the game and something interesting in the gaming experience of Paragon. There's also a new object called the Sentry Turret and it looks amazing. There's some pics. Hopefully the pics are popping out right now on your screen. Let me switch to the other link so I can see how it looks. There you go. You've got this two Sentry uh, Turrets or the meshes pretty much created for those weapons. So that's really cool. I don't know if they're going to be placed as the normal turrets on that map, but it seems like it will be. So pretty much that will be the new turrets or towers. And obviously they have a little bit of coding as well, talking about um, attacking, deactivating, death, death after math, idle, no longer has targets, target acquired, target locked. It sounds like a tower or pretty much one of the structures that you have to verse in order to reach the enemy core. So that's one of the things that you will be facing off quite often. So that will have a new look and that is really great. And now we move on to the skin section. It looks like Epic is taking the shotgun approach with skin variations. As I stated earlier, it looks like you will finally be able to purchase skins, variations, emotes outside of crates. Please go be rep, but they're going to be like 10 times as many to still keep a RNG element. I'm gonna make money, am I right? Oh my god. <laughs> and skin with version 0 to X appears to be a recolor of the base skin. Basically like a key value file of recolors, meaning that they just swap the material properties uh, through the program instead of making a new one, meaning small game sizes. Okay, so pretty much he's talking about how they've put more skin variations into the game, but also there's gonna be another way to purchase them, but through a different mechanic. They did talk about not long ago, that you'll be able to purchase these type of skin variations through reputation while still having other special skin variations through the loot crate system to pretty much give it like a special feel once you actually get one of those skin variations that are like god tier skins. Pretty much that's what's going to happen and I feel like that's going to be the final outcome of the skin section once this is integrated. Then you'll be able to buy skin variations with rep, others with coins, and then others that you'll be able to access through the loot crate system. I think that's what's going to happen so hopefully it will still please everyone because if you don't want to go through a loot crate system, which majority people don't, including myself, then we can use the rep or our coins in order to get those skin variations, which is pretty great. Now let's move on to some of those skins in this actual patch, or that will be coming in version 40 or version 41. Seraph variants for Seraph Morningstar 6 variants titled version 0 to 6, variants for default Seraph 6 variants as well. Grux, Grux Beetle Magma T3 skin. We talked about this not long ago in the last data mine information video, and it looks like they're still going out with it. Blue, green, orange, pink default. Those are some of the skin variations on those characters, followed up by a lot of FX, that's really great. So he's gonna have different abilities. 
like what you can expect from the new Greystone skin, Novaborn Greystone. Pretty much the same feel with Grux, but with his own twist with the battle with the Beetle Magma T skin. So that's going to be really interesting. And then we move on to Severog. Severog Mask Reaper skin, T1.5. So this is between T1 and T2. And it's got black, blue, orange, purple, red, and default. And there's also images of this actual mask right now. Let's go back on that other link. And you should be able to see a Severog mask. It looks like um, Reaper from Overwatch. That's the exact same feel I'm getting out of it. It's called the Mask Reaper. So I can't wait to see the full costume of this on Severog. I can't wait to see how good it is. Because it could be like the Greystone Power Ranger skin that we all talk about. Pretty much has that tiger on his as his helmet. And then he has the normal default skin underneath. We could expect the exact same thing here with his mask being the Mask Reaper as you can see right now. Followed by some animation changes on his skin. And that is pretty much it on his default skin. And then that will be classified as a T1.5. So that's going to be really interesting. I can't wait to see that because not many Severok skins are out. And this could be the next one. Now we move on to Kalari. Her rare death variants have increased as well to 7. Purple Kalari color scheme. The use of the color scheme is new internally. So it's with version 0 to 6. Um, Kalari Rogue RP1 and RP2. Not too sure about that. These have several materials and variants. So they might be playing off as Rogue Kalari skins. Some more. Okay. I think he's talking about... If you know about the Gideon skin. The Undertow Gideon. You know how they've made two variations for that already? But then also they made separate variations of that skin, like the Ice Rampage and the Copper Rampage. Like Undertow Gideon had his own versions of that. And pretty much the, uh, we could expect the same thing with Kalari Rogue skin to be the exact same way. So they make more variations of that on the skin itself. They make separate skins. They look like Kalari Rogue skin, but they have different titles. So that's going to be really interesting as well. Uh, Kalari skin variants, uh, I'm guessing her default skin, have been increased as well. Quang, T1 Quang skin is called a Rosewood skin. And this is a new skin that will be coming to the game. Followed up by Quang having new Ghost variant skin variations as well. Morgesh T3 skin called Frost. Morgesh Frost skin. And this is new as well. We don't have any images of this yet. Still early development. And I'm guessing this is supposed to pretty much oppose the phase skins. You know, phase pretty much showcasing seasons throughout the year. Winter, autumn, and so on and so on. With those skins in their own separate titles and names. Pretty much that's what's happening here. It's like Faye's gone to a certain location and Morgesh has chased her down to that location and they both have pretty much the close names with their skins. So that's how it's going to work. And pretty much the lore and the story is twisting together a lot more and more with each skin. And now let's move on to the Murdoch skins and emotes and stuff like that. Murdoch push up emote, that's a new emote we haven't seen yet. It will be coming to the game very soon. Murdoch snake bite, green karma variations, blue, orange, black, and default. Murdoch snake bite, polar strike variants, black, red, blue, orange, and default. Murdoch Special Forces skin, which is a new skin. There should be an image on your screen right now showcasing that new skin. It's pretty much a darked out version of Murdoch. That's what it seems like. And I don't see any type of other visual effects on the character. So pretty much like Monarch a Murdoch, but just a black out version of that skin. He's a whole X suit is just colored black. That's going to be crazy to see in game. I'm guessing that is a T1 skin, nothing more. Then we move on to the Igan score to rework. His passive or the new passive for the character is called Fire Heal. We don't know too much about it yet, but it sounds like he'll be able to heal himself or maybe have a spell about mechanic in my opinion. Iggy Fireball skin variants, Candy, Deep Sea, Onyx, Rusted, Tropic, and Default. Iggy T1 tribal skin variants, followed up by Jade, Sky, Solar, and Default variants on that. Iggy T3 skin robot, and you can see this skin right now on your screen. My god, this is amazing. A T3 robot Iggy skin. Sadly, we don't see the full effect of it. We've only seen the model and the mesh of the character and how it would look. Just with the basics until they actually put more visual aspects on the character itself. But it looks pretty sick. And also his turrets will be changing as well within this skin update or this T3 skin. So that's great to see. And for some reason I thought they would release the other skin instead. The other T3 skin that was showcased in the 2017 blog or 2017 news update from Paragon. They showcased this like Chinese New Year twist on Iggy and Scorch's skin. And I thought that would get released first before this skin. But it looks like we're getting this skin first then we're getting that. So that's really interesting. And this is a T3, and also the other one was a T3 too. And I can't wait to see this skin in game. It's going to be bloody insane. And I'm guessing everyone will be playing Iggy and Scorch once again because that skin is amazing. Iggy default skin variants have been added to the game as well. Rampage, Rampage, Redneck skin, Blue, Red, White, and Default. Those skins variants have been added as well. Chimera, Grunx, Pelt, Chimera variants, Bright Blue, Dark Blue, Green, Light, Pink, Light, Yellow, White, and Default. So that's pretty neat. Uh, Decker, Cyber, Decker variants have been added. Arctic Frost, Decker variants. Default. Decker skin variants, just a whole bunch of skin variants for the character. Twin Blast, Twin Blast T2 skin, Summertime skin. It's a new skin that looks like it's in the work. And also, we have like a hero portrait of that skin. And you can see right now, that looks pretty dope. 
Also, I feel like it's a little bit of a troll. If the Daymar was trying to troll us, he could have trolled us really well. But I think they would release this skin because it's summertime in America, and I feel like it's a perfect skin for that holiday, while also showcasing a different side to a character. I don't know if this is going to connect to any lore, or this is going to pretty much be the retirement of Twin Blast, and that's how he goes and enjoys his vacations on summertime. And that's pretty much the skin he'll be using when he's on vacation. So that could be a really interesting lore tidbit for the character, but I'm not sure. Nothing has been confirmed yet, and that's a really interesting skin that just came out of nowhere for Twin Blast. And now let's move on to Faye. Faye Angelic skin variants have been added. Another Faye skin variants have been added. Faye Twilight skin variants have been added. And Faye Default skins have been added as well, the variants for that. So that's a lot of skins and their variations towards those characters. So that's pretty much going to cover the whole update or pretty much all the leaked information, data mine information within version 40 that will be coming out in version 40 and version 41. Also, just to mention that these bits of information that we discussed in this video could be coming to the game very soon, could be coming to the game in a couple of months, maybe even a year from now, but also there's a chance they will never come to the game. And it's always Epic Games and the Paragon team's decision on what they bring to the game. They're always testing new stuff and they're obviously testing all this new stuff in the game right now. But we can only see what happens in the future and hoping majority of the stuff does come to the game. Especially the summertime Twin Blast skin followed by the Iggy Robot skin. That is pretty cool in my opinion. So I really want to see those. But mates, as always, tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy this video? Do you want to see more videos about Paragon on my channel? And what do you like about this update? Because I've just mentioned what I liked and it's pretty darn awesome if they do add those to the game pretty darn soon. So tell me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. So mates, if you did enjoy this video, show us why smash that button like button. Let's try to get 200 likes on this video. Makes you want to see more Paragon gaming content and gaming content in general on my channel. All you have to do is share this with your friends and hit the subscribe button to become a mate today. And that is all for this video. Oh, time's going to be done. Chiwari. We'll be back very soon. Hey, Ted boys, because ain't seen nothing yet. Oh my god, mate. That's someone Twin Blast skin. It's gonna be just us chilling on the map of Monolith as we just take out our pistols and destroy everyone on the map. It's gonna be an amazing experience. <laughs>